today I'm going to show you something very exciting. When I wrote, I started writing code um, to show you the simulation, to help you understand the simulation of a kick ball, kick ball, kick by Maradona, uh, 20 meters per second with 37 degree angle. I realized that there is a new way, near a new way to understanding the problem. The simulation allowed me to see something I never saw before, not even in the textbook, not even in the textbook. So this exciting experiment uh, exciting experience I'm gonna show I'm gonna share with you with you so uh, what am I talking about so let's uh, write down the problem so as you know that the Maradona kick the ball kick the ball with 37 37 degree angle 37 degree angle and with 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 20 meter per second all right so this is the problem now what do we want to find we want to find we want to find the 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 shortest distance between maradona's foot maradona's foot and the highest maximum height maximum height okay so what we are talking about so the the, the, the we are talking about this so this is the all right so this is the maximum height this is the maximum height this is maradona's foot so there is a shortest distance between these two we want to find this red line how can I find this red line? Okay, we can, I'm gonna show you two ways to find this red line. But before I do that, I wanna show you magic. The aha moment of my life. The aha moment of my life was when I saw that D, when I wrote D is equal to VIT plus half AT squared, then I realized that this can be rewritten as this. D is equal to plus this two vectors this nice equation uh, equation um, given us by Galileo 1590 can be rewritten as two vectors this is the vector form of this mighty equation how did I kind of um, con conceptualize it by simulation that's what I'm gonna show you right now but before I do that I want to use the traditional way to find the magnitude of this red line okay so first we're gonna find the velocity of the two component so the velocity of the two component is vx and vy so the vx is of course the velocity is 20 so 20 cosine 37 and that gives you 16 and vy 20 sine 37 and that gives you 12 Okay, now we found two components of velocity. What are we going to find next? We're going to find time. So this I call location three. Location three. If I find the time over here, I know the time exactly over here. Why? Because the time over here is a half of time over here. So let's find the time over here. To find the time over here, we know that the y is zero over here. Why y is zero over here? Because the ball is almost at the ground. So I'm going to use dy is equal to vit plus half at squared. And of course, the y direction. Of course, the y direction. So this one is zero. This is 12t. This is plus half negative. 9.8 nt squared so that gives us 0 is equal to 12 t minus minus 4.9 t squared so 0 is equal to t 12 minus 4.9 t so I have two value t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1 2.4 t is equal to 0 is here when Maradona almost ever to hit the ball kick the ball and t is equal to 2.4 when the ball is almost touching the ground with the top we can find everything we can find now the dx this is the dx and this is the dy if we know dx and dy we can use the pythagorean theorem to calculate the magnitude of the shortest distance between maradona's foot and the highest this maximum height so let's do that so this is the dx so how can you find the dx so you're going to find the dx is equal to vit plus half at squared now at the x direction at the x direction so this must be zero so dx is now vix is 16 and t is this is 1.2 because if this is 2.4 this is 1.2 1.2 so this must be 19.2 so this is 19.2 all right, now we're gonna find dy dy to find this one that y 
is uh, kind of tricky. So what I mean, dy is equal to vit plus half at squared. Make sure you take it at the y direction. So the dy is 12, t is 1.2 minus uh, plus half negative 9.8, 1.2 squared. So dy is equal to 14.4 minus minus 7.05. So dy is equal to 7.3. So this guy is 7.3. Okay, now you know the dx and dy, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. What I mean, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. c squared is the red line. So c squared is equal to a squared. a squared is 19.2 squared plus b squared is 7.3 squared. So then c is 20.5. So the red line we know that is 20.5. Well, this is easy. This I use the regular physics. Now I'm going to show you the way that never done before. And you will be amazed and you will hopefully fall in love with physics. That's what that's what I'm going to do right now. And hopefully I'm going to do it here. Here. So now I'm going to exactly, exactly do the same thing. So that okay so this is the trajectory of maradona kicking the ball now 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 this is the maximum height i don't need that i don't need that so this two red vector this two red vector this two red vector will allow me to find it remember what i told you before remember what i told you before what did i tell you what did i tell you I told you something very important d is equal to vit plus half a t square this can be represent this can be represent this can be represent at angle uh, at uh, at a vector at a vector and this can be represent also at a vector but the difference between these two vector this vector has two component and this vector has one component so all you need to do add these three vectors and uh, these three vectors would be equivalent to these two vectors isn't it amazing okay let me show you what i mean this this one has two component this one has y component and this one has x component this one has x component so this is vx and this is half a t squared see end of the story this is this is vat this is vat huh uh this is vat at the y direction this is this is the, see this arrow this arrow is the red one so this is vat at the y uh, direction and this is vit at the x direction huh ah, and this one is this one oh wow isn't it beautiful it is so now let's find this one and we're gonna make we're gonna convert it to a right triangle right angle triangle and combining right angle triangle is also understanding is is also important so vit how can we find v a v y t v y t so d y is v y t and v y is 12 and this is 1.2 so this is 14.4 so we already know this one this one is 14.4 so 14.4 get 14.4 now you're gonna find this one dx is equal to uh, equal to um, equal to vxt and vx is 12 1.2 12 uh, dx is 16 1.2 so this is 19.2 so this one is 19.2 19.2 now you're gonna find this one half d is equal to d is equal to half a t squared so now d is equal to then half is half of course negative 9.8 and t squared is 1.2 squared so this is 7 point negative 7.056 so this is negative 7.05 negative 7.05 now 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 this this arrow is to the north and this arrow is to the south north and south if you put two arrow one is north and one is south what do you get you get 14.4 minus 7.05 you get 7.3 so you get one vector you get one vector this minus this this minus this all right who, who, who which one is winning the north vector because the magnitude of the north vector is bigger now 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 i'm going to do the other one 
how can I do the other one? other one is just 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 uh, just the X component so that's 19.2 so now I'm gonna convert it to right angle triangle so how can I do right angle triangle right angle triangle so first I'm gonna draw this one first I'm gonna draw coordinate plane in the coordinate plane I'm gonna put the, this one the vector number one so this is the vector number one and that is 19.2 19.2 and then I'm gonna put the back to number two back to number two is 7.2 7.3 all right now I'm gonna connect this two I'm gonna connect this two and then the c square a square plus b square equals c square gonna save us so c square is equal to a square plus b square so then c square is equal to 19.2 square plus 7.3 square so c is 20.5 C is 20.5 so this answer matches with this answer and how I made this possible that something that I never seen in the book I made it possible by simulation so simulation is important guys make sure you use the all the tools available to understand the physics that's include this include math this include computer science especially the coding